Hey there, welcome to Dull Motion! We have Pokemon Trainer Red and Pokemon Trainer Blue. But we're still missing someone. That's right, Pokemon Trainer Green. Although Pokemon Crystal was the first Pokemon game with an option to place a female Pokemon Trainer, there exists some concept art for the first generation games. This concept art was even made into a character in the manga series Pokemon Adventures where she has the name green, blue in the Japanese version. For this repaint video, I'll be making the version of the Pokemon remake games Fire Red and Leaf Green. Although she looks great in that black dress, I really love the colors and the details on the newer outfit. So let's begin and make Pokemon Trainer green. If you saw the green Pokeball in my previous repaint video, then you found the hint. Good luck finding the hint for the next repaint video! For this custom, I'll be using a Obitsu 21cm female body. I'm going to use a lot of Obitsu bodies this year. Just like with blue and red, I'm going to give green an already prepped Lika hat. Hmm, let's see. I think some ash blonde hair will look great on her. <laughs> to make her hair look fuller in the end, I paint her head with matching acrylic paint. When the paint is dry, it's reload time. I cut the saran hair in the right length. The reroute tool I use is a needle cut on an angle secured in a holder. Take a tiny strand of hair and bind it around your finger. Slide it on the needle and push the hairs into the pre-made holes. And now fill the rest of the head. With some Netflix on the background, time will fly. When you have a full head of hair, it's time to secure the hairs from the inside. You can use the kinda hard to find fabric tag glue. But a glue that repairs shoes can also work. As long the glue isn't too liquid to leak through the hair holes. To get everything even inside the head, I like to use a Q-tip. Wait at least one day for the glue to fully dry. Now you can give the hair a boil wash treatment. This will make the hair less fluffy and straight. Let it air dry for one day. Wow, at this point she really looks like me as a kid. To protect her hair from the sealant, I tuck it away with some scrap fabric and pins. When the hair is all safe, I spray the face with a layer of Mr. Super Clear. I start the face off by sketching in our face with a watercolor pencil. If you make a mistake, now it's time to correct it. When I have all my guidelines, I switch to acrylic paints. Her name is Green, so let's give her green eyes. Now that I'm shading her eyes with pen pastels, let's answer the question of the day. Why did you decide to make your videos in English and not Dutch? Well, I mainly watch videos in English myself, so it was kind of obvious for me to make them in English. Also, you can reach more people if you make your videos in English. And for the question, if I'm ever going to do a video in Dutch? Um, no, probably not. Because only 1% of my viewers is Dutch. Dus, sorry Nederlanders. 
Dus heb jij een vraag die ik nog niet beantwoord heb? Laat hem achter in de comment-sectie. En misschien beantwoord ik hem in de volgende Repaint-video. Back to the repaint and in English. To make her face look a little bit younger, I gave her an open smile. To seal the face up, I sprayed the face with Mr. Supi Clear. Now that her face up is all done, let's give her the signature outfit. I start by making her a shirt. I simply trace the doll and sew the fabric into, well, a shirt. Some black linings with permanent marker to finish the shirt. Out of the same fabric, I also make her a pair of socks. Before we go to the rest of her outfit, I also want to make a new sweater for blue. At the time I was making blue, I couldn't find the right color fabric and ended up using a sock. Still, a great looking sweater, but not the fabric choice I had in mind. Lucky, I still have some purple fabric left for my Gengar repaint video. Gluing back the rainbow badge and blue has a new sweater. Okay, let's continue with green. I made her a red skirt that can close in the back with snaps. For her sneakers, let's take a look into my shoebox. A girl can never have enough shoes, right? I'll be using these old flat Barbie shoes. I scraped off the molded details and glued on an extra piece with craft foam. With 3D paint, I gave the shoes some racing detail. A paint job and we got ourselves some sneakers. The white hat I made out of stretchy fabric. Some sewing, gluing and painting on some detail and we got a trainer hat. With my Screaming Man hair gel, I gave her a new hairstyle. Hmm, I gave red and blue both a realistic Pokemon. So let's give green also one. Huh, her name is Green, so let's give her a Bulbasaur. Probably won't say it, but Bulbasaur's design is based on a toad. You can kinda see it in Venusaur's walk cycle. Yeah, I couldn't really find a toad figure, so I have to do it with this frog figure. Nah, I can make it work. First I take off his tongue and back feet. This is a squeezy toy, so it will be kinda hard to sculpt on it. Lucky I learned this great trick from Bozena on our channel, Doll's Brand New Look. By filling the figure with a hot glue gun, it will make the figure hard and easy to work on. For this I will be using epoxy sculpt. I gave it new legs, pointy eyebrows, a mouth and of course its signature bump. To make painting on the figure with acrylic paint easier, I first cover it with a primer. After a paint job, I give it some shadows and highlights with pastel powders. I seal everything in with Mr. Supi Clear. As a last item, I make green and big yellow bag for a Pokeballs and to carry Bulbasaur around. Well, Rat, are you ready for another challenge? Hey, boys. Is it okay if I join you? Green?
Uh, Rat, can I borrow some money from you? Oh, I can't believe it, they're finally complete! Red, blue and green finally together at last! I started this mini-series in 2017 with red. And I made blue in 2018. Yeah, you can see an improvement in the face-ups. Well, I kinda like it, you can see the history of the channel in these dolls. I would like to thank my lovely patrons for supporting this channel. And like always, like if you liked it and sub if you loved it. See you in the next video. Bye!